How were three inmates able to walk out of Wyava Correctional Facility without anyone noticing? Well, that's what public safety officials will have to answer. The three inmates were discovered missing during a head count around 9 o'clock last night. Sheriffs and police are searching for 34-year-old Kamaka Villegas, 25-year-old Kekoa Espera, and 31-year-old Brian Aquino. Wyava is located near Waipio, and it's a minimum security facility. But still, how were they able to slip out unnoticed? Bridget Namata is asking the tough questions. Bridget. Morris, I asked to speak with the director of public safety, but was told an interview at this time is premature because they're still investigating the escape. For lawmakers I spoke with, that's unacceptable. I'm told Wayava inmates are considered less dangerous than those housed at OCCC and Halava, which are medium security. Wayava Correctional is a minimum security prison for male inmates. The facility helps transition the inmates back into the community from prison. We're here at the entrance, and you can see behind me the campus is large and open, surrounded by trees and thick shrubbery. Sources say a piece of prison clothing was found on top of a barbed wire fence. How the three managed to escape is under investigation, so instead I asked public safety questions about its security protocols. I learned there are on-duty guards around the clock, split into three watches, and that the staffing for each watch depends with the classification of inmates in the facility. A spokesperson tells me sheriffs and HPD were immediately notified last night about the three escapees. A thorough search of the 192 acres was finished this morning. That's when the public was notified. It doesn't sit well with Senator Willis Sparrow or Representative Ryan Yamane. The public should have been notified you know, within an hour or two of the escape. We actually request that um, these department heads and this administration be much more uh, transparent um, and forthcoming because uh, these issues do impact um, the safety and health of a community. And, you know, when you have these individuals who potentially could be roaming neighborhoods where our children are playing and riding bike, um, families want to be told. This easily could have gotten on the 10 o'clock news and people could have been aware and be keeping their eyes open, you know, if you see, you know, three guys in the middle line area. We will bring it up to the administration on trying to get answers on why uh, th this case may be, uh, as well as how are they going to maybe change some of their processes. Again, the three inmates are still missing. We'll have their pictures up on our website, kho12.com. Bridget Namata, kho12 News.